All right, it's time for interactive. We are at day six of our 12 days of Chris Max promotion. How do you win? Participate in our daily challenges. Here's today's challenge. Name the islands on which the matches in the ongoing West Indies versus England limited over series have been played so far. Head over to the 12 days of Chris Max chat on the Sportsmax app and tell us your answer for a chance to win a Cricket West Indies jersey. Yeah, you can get that jersey and you can send it to me or you can go and support the team for the deciding T20 International. Also, check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. And don't forget, in case you missed it, it's now on Sportsmax, Scene TV and YouTube. Moving along, Azara Joseph was RCB's first buy of the 2024 IPL auction. And it was a big one, the Antiguan going for 1.3 million US dollars. What are persons saying on Twitter? Three other West Indians going in the draft as well. Take M, not worth that much for sure. LOL, mm. I don't like that comment. Abdullah Farosh. Superstar from Windies, make them proud like at Henry Gale, at Brian Lara, at Viv Richards. <laughs> Will Comish, another overspend. Joseph is a talented bowler, but one million is totally ludicrous. Bada Mahendra, great pick, classic West Indies fast bowler, handy with the bat too. So, Lance Whitaker, yeah. Azara Joseph, is he worth 1.3 million? Well, the last comment, handy with a bat two, may have something to do with uh, him pushing over the 1 million mark because he can hit the ball. Yeah. And in, in IPL, you have a number eight, number nine batsman coming in and banging the ball around. It, it could be to your team's credit. Um, a lot of money, 1.1 million, but Azari is, a, is an improved cricketer, and I think I like his cricket brain. So I, I'm not going to say it, it's too much money. Um, yeah. um, Mitch Stark was sold for twice that. Exactly. I was just going to make the point yeah. that Mitch Stark and Pat Cummings both yeah. went for over two million. Yes, so yes. when you take that into consideration, yes. it is really just a representation yes. of Azari's growth. That's right. Um, in recent years, and definitely how well he's gone this year, and how mm. well he went for parts of the IPL last campaign yeah. as well. All right, what about the bidding war between Rajasthan Royals and Kolkata Knight Riders for West Indies T20 captain Rodman Powell? The Royals eventually winning that battle at 990,000 US dollars. Was it 890? Hmm. Rodman, let's see. Good pick. People were mocking him to get picked in platinum category lol he is worth that he is worth it he is that good a player more than i was expecting but a good player yeah mm. robman what do you make of robman ah uh, mm, i'm not totally sold on robman you know um ricardo um, he's 30 years old, has matured, yes. and as a, a captain of the West Indies T20 team at the moment, I'm looking forward to see what he does in the IPL. But in the IPL, you have so many tricky spinners, and Robman still struggles against spinners. He has been improving a bit against them, but he still struggles against the spinners. So I'm, I'm happy for him, but um, I, I, I think Alzari is, is much more of an understandable um, buy for me if I compare the two the two buys. Yeah, I think the thing with Robin Powell and, and the understanding is that he can be a match winner. Um, and sometimes as a franchise or as a team generally, you're looking for that X factor. And yes, you understand that you're not buying a Virat Kohli who is going to consistently give you those half centuries and set up yes. your innings for you. But what you have is a player who at any time can win you matches, can get you out of sticky situations, coming in at that number five, number six fair position. Enough, and enough, yeah. and that's what Rodman Paul represents, in my opinion. Couldn't do it for the West Indies today, though, as we're running out of time. West Indies, 169 for eight. In the 14th over, they are chasing 268 to beat England in the fourth T20 international being played in Taruba. It won't happen. They won't win this one, the fifth and deciding game. 
will be on Thursday. I think it's safe to say. That's it for today's abbreviated version of the Sports Max Zone. Thanks to Chris Taylor. Or, oh, no, it's not. Yeah, I think you have time for one more. Oh, I do. Let's, Here we let's, go. Let, let's get <laughs> Julian Alfred in. Yeah, let's get reactions to Julian Alfred's interview yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supernova. I'm sure Miss Alfred has and will continue to make St. Lucia proud. Top tier athlete. Great seeing Julian on this interview. Powerful story of resilience and triumph. Love the way Ricardo handed the interview as well. I don't like reading about myself. His reactions were so genuine. Excellent questions as well. Lance, I think you should have read that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, no more comments? I hope not. It was a very satisfying interview, we must yeah. say though, because we have uh, tried to get her on for quite some time now. And um, very revealing that, you know, in spite of her successes, she has gone through periods of, of lacking in confidence in spite of her success because when things go badly for her it, it, it hurts her a lot and it, it, it dims her spirit but I'm, I'm hoping that given her rise and her consistent top draw performances that she will build her confidence and you know begin to shrug those those doubting moments that she has yeah and based on what she said they are getting fewer and fewer so Hopefully that she will get to that stage where she has complete confidence in herself and in her abilities and coach Eldrick Florial will for sure help her to get there. Um, there's another issue that she spoke about that I can't take up now, but we really do need to talk about um, in the coming days. All right. Is it? Can I can I wrap now? Yeah. Okay. I can wrap now. <laughs> Thank you very much for making it the Sports Mag Zone today. I wanted to big up our special guest, Chris Taylor, who doesn't pass through very often anymore because he's touring the world, but it was great to have him. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. Abbreviated show on Wednesday as well, but it's going to be a good one.